Hi, my name is Kent Chase, PGA golf professional. Today we're going to talk about the finish point of the golf swing. Today we're going to talk about the finish point. The finish point of the golf swing, believe it or not, is a very, very important thing. Most people kind of think it doesn't matter that much because the ball already got hit. Why does it matter where I finish? So there's a really proper and good answer for that. You know that we've talked in the, in the previous, during the series, pre-swing, back swing, initial move, impact and way through. And now why would we need a finish point? Here's the reason. If we always started in the right place, always took it back to the right place, thus we're coming from the right place, and always in a particular manner went through the impact zone in the same exact way, and we always went to another correct place, it becomes a matter of put it there and go like that to there. So ultimately, if we're always coming from there and going to there, what happens at the moment of impact starts repeating really nicely. So from there to there needs to be constant. Not from there to impact, oh, whatever, I don't like the way it felt or whatever. Nope, golf pros are committed to their finish point. It's a big lesson to learn. So the finish point, what is the proper finish point? That's a good one. It's a very balanced situation. We're a very balanced setup, people. We're very balanced at the top, although we transfer our weight. We're transferring our, transferring our way through impact to a proper impact finish point. Um, to a proper perfect finish point. So the proper perfect finish point looks something like that. Here's a good way to explain it. My elbows are probably approximately four inches apart from one another at my natural address position. They're still four inches apart at the point of the swing where my left arm is parallel to the ground and my elbows are equidistant from the ground. They're still four inches apart at the top while I've transferred my weight to the left. They're still four inches apart when I go through the point I was on the way back. They're still, different point of view, four inches apart at the moment of impact. And I've got my shaft angle leaning there and my left hand bowed down. They're still four inches at this point. I'm transferring my weight to my left side. I'm rotating on the way through while I'm transferring. And now my elbows are still four inches apart from one another. So that's a constant. So another, I talked about in the past that I don't, I'm not really into gimmicks and gadgets too much, but there is a really nice, I forget what, you, what, I, what we call it, uh, um, straps that go on your arms. So there's lots of different companies that do it. So that's why it's hard for me to just represent one of them. But basically this keeps your elbows together the whole way from a dress to the top, to the moment of impact, to the finish point. Finish point's a very balanced position. Don't forget that. The easiest way to find that finish point is one of my favorite drills. Just standing here, transferring to the right, transferring to the left. Body weight to the right, body weight to the left. Left knee works inward, right knee to the target, some kind of one, two. Because this golf swing, everything is going to be on some particular pace, tempo, or authority level that's going to repeat every single day of your life. Back to the target, front to the target, weight on the right, weight on the left, left knee inward, right to the target, one, two. What a great drill. See how level I am? It's a beautiful way to help somebody learn how to be level. Back to the target, front to the target, weight on the right, weight on the left, left knee inward, right to the target, one, whoosh, bam. That's the way I want you guys to be. So in conclusion on this, we might call it perfect golf swing, or at least as close to possible as we can be to perfection, we're going to start in the right place. Grip, alignment, posture, ball position, category two, backswing, up the plane to the place. The place, we've got to, you've got to review all the Creating Young Masters tapes because it's a very important place. But it has to start from the right place to go to the place so we can come from the place, which means we can initialize the downswing motion and learn impact and way through to go to the proper finish point. Ultimately, we're going to start in the right place, put it in the right place, and in the correct manner, go through the hitting area to the other correct place. So it's this simple. And bam, bam. And people say, my gosh, it looks so easy. But when they learn, it seems so difficult. Honestly, it's not. 
learn in the categories. That way you can rem remember what you're doing. Grip it like this, line it like that, posture it like that. It's like the store called the gap. Grip, alignment, posture. Never fail in those three. From those three, learn how to take it up the plane to the place. And if you don't have a local PGA professional near you, you can find them on the internet now. Somebody will help you because you've got to learn how to get to the place from the place so you can initialize it, go through the hitting area to the proper place. You can become a much better player than you ever felt possible. Good luck in your golf game. This is Kent Chase. Be sure to get a copy of my book, if I only had a mulligan. It is a process I use for developing highly competitive and successful players. Over 50 state high school champions, over 50 scholarships awarded, U.S. Kids World Champions, U.S. Junior Champions, U.S. Amateur Champions, PGA and LPGA Touring Professionals. Make the most of your time. Remember, how you learn is just as important as what you learn.